witness, members of the PPC, were putting pressure on us that this is a threat to black business. Now, it would be unethical of me to identify individuals so that you pursue them. Black business was very uncomfortable with the ability of banks to just close uh, accounts without explanation. And they said that is a threat to transformation and to black business. And the, sorry, there was another, another aspect. You were asked about the eight people who came forward to the ANC. Can you tell us who those people are? Uh, they are here. All, all of them have been here. One was the TG for GSGIS. Uh, the other one was uh, the former Minister of, Public, of Communication, three senior managers of the SSA who were fired. Um, I'm trying to, to, to move to back to the memory, but is that... I'm actually interested in those three. <laughs> Which ones? The three um, state security agency managers, senior managers. There were three managers that were fired at the same day. You should know by Ezra, but they are coming here. Oh, they still come. They are coming here on their own. Chairperson. Uh, uh, Clement Magnatella from Eyewitness News. Chairperson, uh, you've told the commission that the Gupta owned Oak Bay did put pressure or was putting pressure on the ANC or was getting the ANC to put pressure on the banks to reopen those accounts. Why did you continue to meet with the banks? If you knew at the time that the Oak Bay wanted you to put pressure on the banks, why did you continue to meet with the banks if you, if you knew the intention at the time? Let me tell you, meeting with those banks was a university lecture for us. It educated us on banking issues. We had a better understanding after that. That's why we couldn't get to that campaign of the accounts being opened because we had a broader picture rather than an emotional one that says, uh, Gupta's are just bad, don't talk to them. We had to understand what the thinking of the banks is. And those 12 points in that submission, read them. They taught us a lot of things. And out of that meeting, I can tell you, I understood the, the concept of political exposed persons better. I can educate my kids, I educate everybody, because we had a relaxed environment where the banks just gave us facts and we understood it. We it was quite helpful to balance our decisions. Otherwise, it was a question of saying we're getting into the campaign because many people were in that campaign, if you remember. Many organizations were in that campaign that 7,500 people were about to lose jobs and therefore less campaign. We didn't enter that campaign because we had a, a broader picture of the circumstances. Minister, would you have, in hindsight, had that meeting as an ANC group with the banks if what you know now and not let the IMC deal with it? Actually, I don't want to get this thing of the IMC. Okay, I don't want to get to that. I want to talk about the ANC interacting with the banks. The ANC should interact with the banks, not because of this, on many other issues, as we must interact with various sectors of society. And we should continue doing that. It helps you understand things better. One of the things that uh, I value in my tenures in the ANC was the exposure to talk to as many people as I could. And out of that, learned, gained experience, understood sectors of society. So Natasha, what was uh, former President Zuma's approach to uh, your meeting with the bank? The, 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 to me, what is important is the view of the African National Congress. I was not a private secretary of President Zuma. I was the Secretary General of the ANC. And to me, once the structure takes a decision, I execute it. Now, I, I was not required to look over my shoulder what does the President want. Some of the issues were taken, put even the President under pressure, but we still executed. And that is important to me, what the ANC thought, not what Zuma thought. But if you are asked, when you come back to the commission, if you are asked about his role, will you be able to give evidence on that? I will give you that answer. <laughs> so, I'm not here because I, I was given a job by the Guptas or offered money. I'm here to give you what the African National Congress did when I was Secretary General. That's why I'm here. Chairperson, uh, various persons who've come before this commission have mentioned your name uh, time and again. So I know that you... Secretary General for 10 years. You must be mentioned 100 times. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> Kuwaga, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I know that you're still going to come. Yes. But uh, it does uh, time and again raise questions as to to the role, and perhaps we thought uh, you may um, expunge on the role of the ANC and how it interacts with the number of uh, societies or sectors. Um, perhaps, employees. perhaps you didn't, you may not have done that. So, given that there are still going to be more people who will come forward and probably will mention you again, so will you only wait for that submission or will you? as a person of Guatemala should come and, and clear your name? No, I will not clear any name. Uh, let me make that point. I have under no pressure to clear my name. That's why when I, I came here, I said, I am the chairperson of the ANC. When this happened, I was Secretary General of the ANC. I never had a meeting aside with the Kuptas on my own. Kuptas came to Lutuli House, I met them, uh, even when Mvogo and Karimo <laughs> were setting up the newspaper, we met them, and, and that's it, as Secretary General of the NC. And th that's it. And uh, that's what I will explain. When I come back to deal with the deployment policy of the NC, I will talk about the deployment policy of the NC. Were you ever at the Gupta Saxon World Home as, as, uh, as the Secretary General? I was there twice when we were talking, when we were dealing with the establishment of the New Age. But they were in Lutuli House close to 10 times. That shows the balance. Yeah. Um, when, uh, <laughs> when, when after engaging with uh, the banks, you heard what they had to say, did you as the ANC then take a position as to whether you agreed or disagreed with both the um, both Oak Bay and the BBC, that what the banks were doing amounted to corporate bullying and, and so on, and uncompetitive behavior. What we agreed was that destruction of jobs was bad for the country. I would repeat that today. Two, we agreed that, but we cannot protect jobs and use that to cut, undercut rules and regulation of the country, people must comply with the rules and regulation. I think that position of the ANC was a correct position. But did you agree with them that uh, they were in the situation they found themselves in uh, because of corporate ruling, because they were a disruptor, and because they were sure, I mean, and that there were jobs at stake? We never agreed with them on anything. We listened to them, we met the banks, we processed the information and take a decision. And our decision was loss of jobs, bad. But complying with the rules and regulation is a necessity. Chairperson, just the last one for me. What is the testimony and evidence coming out of this commission doing to the ANC? We see how some people within the party are taking positions. Either they criticize and attack some of the witnesses here, um, or they will start questioning the credibility of the work that is being done by the Commission. Is, is, is the testimony and evidence coming out of here dividing the ANC? No. If we accuse this Commission for any division or semblance of division to the Commission, will be economical with facts. It can be. The Commission is dealing with issues that have been bothering for a long time. We, the fact that we agreed that the Commission be established, we knew that there were difficult issues and we needed an independent body to deal with them and this commission is such an independent body. We're quite comfortable with the work it is doing. That's why we started with that opening statement to reaffirm our commitment to the work of the commission as the African National Congress and commit our support to the commission. And that was not uh, uh, just playing to the gallery. It is what the ANC believes this commission is doing. This commission is necessary for us because when we go through a difficult period, we almost have gone through a, a phase like in China, the Cultural Revolution. Though it looked good, it almost destroyed the revolution. We are coming out of a situation which is almost equivalent to that. We must be bold in confronting all those issues as a party. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I, I know you miss. Uh, you miss. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Just one last. Just one last one. Where's the mic? 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 Where's the mic?